Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see how we can set up MongoDB database as a Docker container. So in this tutorial, we will be going through the Docker commands to start a Docker container and we will be also using a persistent storage. We will see how we can connect the MongoDB database from a Windows machine using an application and what are the basic commands to create database and collection. We will be using the MongoDB database for our upcoming tutorial for the application running as microservices. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, like the video, share and comment. Okay, to start, I'm using a CentOS machine in which the Docker is already installed. So you can run the command Docker version to see the installed Docker version. I don't have any Docker containers running. So if you run the Docker PS, you don't have any Docker containers running. You can also run Docker images to list the images already pulled from the Docker Hopper. So the first step is let's go to the Docker Hub and search for MongoDB database. So we'll be selecting the Mongo. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see the documentation for uh, MongoDB, how to run a Docker container and what are the environmental variables, you know, all those stuff. So this is the simple command to run a Docker container for MongoDB. So let's run the command. So docker run hyphen D for detach mode. Give a name for the container as MongoDB. You can give any name as you prefer. The port will be 27017, which is the default uh, Mongo port. And we'll be also attaching the volume MongoDB to the location hyphen data hyphen DB. And let's run the image with the latest tag. Okay, since the MongoDB image is not available locally, so the system is pulling the image first, then it will create the container. Okay, great. So the container is created. You can run the command docker ps to see the running container. We can also run the command docker volume ls so you can see the mongodb volume where the data is stored. So the default location for the volume is slash var slash lib docker slash volume and the volume name which is mongodb and underscore data. So you'll be able to see the data from the MongoDB container, which is mapped to your host. OK, 
Okay, now let's connect to the Docker container. So you can use the command docker accept it and the container name. And we have to use a bin bash. So now we are inside the container. So let's connect to the database. We run the mongo command. We can exit from the Mongo using exit. So Mongo help command will give you the details uh, on uh, some of the parameters we can use along with Mongo. So let's connect back to the Mongo shell. So show DBs will list you the current uh, DBs available. We can also use the command show databases. We can use the command use and the DB name. This will create a new DB if it's not available, otherwise it will connect to the, the existing DB. But if you run the show DBs, you don't see the new DB created because we don't have any collections or data added into the DB yet. So if you run show collections, we don't have anything. So let's create a new collection. So you can use the command db.create collection and the collection name. Okay, so we have a new collection created and when you run the command show collections, we can see the new collection created. And if you run the show DB now, we will be able to see the MongoDB as well because we have added a new collection. We can also use command, find command. And we can also insert some content into the collection. Okay, so we have inserted some content into the collection and if you run the find command, we will be able to see the output. Now let's see how we can connect to the MongoDB from Windows PC. So we will be using an application called MongoDB Compass. So you have to download it and uh, extract the content. So I have already downloaded and extracted it in my machine. So let's open it. Since it's opening first time, it's taking a little bit of time. Okay, sure. There is an option to make new connection. So let's uh, select that option and uh, we need to manually give the details of uh, server IP. So let's uh, give the IP address of your host machine. And the port number is 27017. 
since we don't have any authentication we have said we can just click on connect if we have uh, created any username and password separately we can use that as well to connect now if you see we can already see the mongodb database and the collection we have created you can also try to create uh, new collections or insert a uh, new entry to the collection you can also create new db everything you can do it from here which will be replicated to your database in the docker container so we have inserted uh, one more entry let's go back to the container and uh, check it from the command line As you can see, when we run the find command in the collection now, we see one more new entry, which we created from the MongoDB Compass application. We can delete uh, the entries from here. If you go back to the find, you can see one of the entries deleted. Now let's disconnect from the Compass application and also delete the currently running container. We also need to delete the volume, otherwise the data will be still available in that volume. So let's uh, use the command uh, docker volume arm. Okay, let us create a new container now in the detach mode and give a name for the container and map the port into 27017 from the host and also from the container. This time we are going to use some environmental variables where we can set the user and the username and password for the database. So you can set your own username and password and also map the volume to the MongoDB to the data slash DB. Okay, great. So we have the container running. Now let's go back to the Compass application. And this time we can connect to the database using a specific authentication. Using the username and password which we set at the time of uh, creation of the container. We can see we are connected now and the default DBs are available. We can create a new one. We can also add some collection. Let's connect to the Docker container through the command line. So we'll run the docker exec dash it command.
this time if you have to log into the mongo shell you need to use the parameter like hyphen u where you can uh, connect uh, with your uh, username and password so we are connected to the mongo shell and you can check the show dbs we have a a new DB which we created from the Compass application. Let's use the new DB and also show the collections. So you can see the collection which is available in the Compass application is listed here as well. Now if you if we see like fine we don't see anything because we don't have any data so let's insert some data into the database okay so we have inserted data and if you see when we run the find command we can see the content the same time if you go to the compass application and you have to refresh the page you will be able to see the newly inserted content into the collection You can also delete or drop the collection or database from the Compass application and also from the command line. So you need to run the command dot drop on the collection. If you run the show collections, you don't see the collection anymore. And the, at the same time, if you go back to the Compass application as well, we don't see it anymore. To summarize, we have seen how to run MongoDB database as a Docker container with persistent storage and also using database admin. We also use MongoDB Compass software to connect through Windows machine. We have seen how to create new database, new collection, add data to the collection, both from command line and also from Compass application. I hope this tutorial is informative for you. Thank you for watching kindly subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment